Hi, and welcome to Bath's Teams Conversations. This will involve me and a couple of ambassadors discussing various topics around university, such as what is university, looking at applying and choosing a university, as well as talking about what life is like at the University of Bath. In this video, we'll be talking about potentially the biggest question of all, why Bath? So we'll be talking about the things that drew us to Bath, what we found particularly attractive about Bath, um, some of our favourite things about Bath now that we're here, and why we decided to study at Bath and not elsewhere. We hope you enjoy this video. I'm Callie Rice and I am the Student Recruitment Assistant here at the University of Bath. I myself was a student also at Bath for four years and I did biology as my undergraduate. Um, but I'm joined today by Michaela, Vicky and Jasmine. Would you like to introduce yourselves? Hi, um, I'm Michaela. I'm a third year student and I study social sciences. Hi, I'm Vicky. I'm a third year chemical engineering student. Hi, I'm Jasmine and I'm in my first year studying social work. Great, so the burning question is, why did you decide to come to Bath? One other thing that I really liked was the campus itself. So um, like I, like when I visited Bath, um, there was just a really nice community feel just because it is a campus university. So all the facilities are in the same place, um, all the students are in the same place. And like, I just really loved the campus. It has everything you need. It's not too big, so I think it takes like 10 to 15 minutes to walk from one end to the other end. Um, you have things like the library, um, you've got a bar, the restaurants, um, a nightclub. You have like a medical centre, um, all different things like that. So for me, that was just the sell point. Like when I visited the campus, I just got like a gut feeling that that's where I wanted to go. Um, yeah, I'd say like the exact same. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much like the exact same as like the community feel on campus and you don't really get that unless you actually come and visit. So um, there were some other universities I visited and it was like, oh, yeah, these are quite nice. But then just going to Bath, it was just kind of like this just feels like the right one. It was quite a hard yeah. thing to explain, but it is the sort of community feel, how friendly it all was. Um, and that's just been even more confirmed while I've been at Bath. So like walking along parade and you're going from one lecture to another. And you're like, oh, hi, it's that person from that society. Oh, it's that person from <laughs> my house or something or that person on my course. Yeah, you always think it's going to take you five minutes to get somewhere, but then you bump into someone and you're always like, you think with a campus you need, you'd never have an excuse to be late for anything. But you try and walk from one building to another and because it's such a community, you just end up bumping into someone that you know and like you're always late, which is funny. And yeah. <laughs> Uh, like most first years live on campus and being able to like roll out of bed and see the building that you're going to have your lecture in it's just funny like it's so good and you miss that in your second year like you get to yeah. live in the city so you're like this is amazing I get to live in the city but you will miss like living on campus and being able to see the building that your morning nine o'clock lecture is in mm -hmm. but yeah yeah I definitely agree with like everything I was lucky I went to go I went on like the summer schools that Bath like hosted so I got to like live um in Bath and like I just had this feeling I know it sounds so cliche and so like dramatic but it was like I can see myself like it was on like sitting by the lake with all the ducks around us summertime like weather was good and I was like yeah this could work um and it's funny now because I'm working as an ambassador who like did organize like the summer schools mm -hmm. um it was like that feeling um, and it was nice that everything was all in one place and also it was like really good for my course uh, which is like why I chose it compared to a lot of other unis. I'd say um, for me if we talk about like course specifically or department you can just kind of get a feel for like how knowledgeable your lecturers are and passionate mm -hmm. about their subjects so for me doing social work all of the lecturers have such amazing experience like in the field working they can bring in examples like um in social sciences and stuff all of the lecturers bring in their own research and talk about it and that's just amazing to like ask them questions about their research and kind of apply it to what you're learning i think that's what's really good like bath mm -hmm. is one of the leading universities for research and i just think you can completely tell how that goes into your teaching and what you're learning yeah, definitely agree with that. Like when I first looked at Bath, I was kind of looking at rankings and then for I think it's social policy is like second in the UK um, at Bath and then sociology is like third and psychology was like second. So like you really do get a feel from that that you're going to have like really good high quality teaching. Um, and then I had definitely have experienced that whilst I was here. And I think one of my favourite subjects was definitely I think it's a sociology one and it was like monsters 
um, humans and machines. And it was basically how humans in interacted with artificial intelligence um, and how artificial intelligence was like really impacting the workplace. Um, so that was really interesting. And like the lecturer was so, so passionate. Um, obviously, he'd done a lot of research around that as well. Yeah, that's really cool. I feel like research is definitely um, something that's so great at Bath. Like I'm on my research project at the moment, so I'm working with lecturers in different universities doing I guess cutting edge research in a way, sort of. Um, but the stuff they do with the department is really interesting. Like the one that I'm at, like the Department of Chemical Engineering, our new head of department, she is amazing and she does like tissue engineering. She's inventive. You know, have you seen those like engineered like meats that they're like um, grown in labs? It sounds like a weird concept, but mm. just seeing that in the news and having like my family send it to me, I was like, oh wow, like, this is actually <laughs> quite cool. So that's another reason. It's just I don't know, really innovative, like it's quite um, always like trying new things or doing new research incentives and stuff and trying to get like students involved, I feel like is really important. So I would say like if we just ignore the university for a second and just think about Bath as a city, it's just so beautiful. And like every time I walk around town, I'm just amazed by like it's such a stunning city. It's small enough that it doesn't feel scary because for me, I'm not from a city and I was like, oh, I don't want to go and live in a city, that's scary. Um, to other people, they might be like, Bath's tiny, but to me, it's perfect. You can walk everywhere. It's got so many different independent shops and restaurants. Like you could eat pretty much any kind of food in Bath. So yeah, if we ignore the uni and just focus on the city, it's just, it's got everything you can need it's got brilliant transport links you can get to Bristol on the train in 10 minutes like get to London in like an hour and a half you can even get to Bristol airport really easily so yeah definitely like the city itself was something that drew me in and I actually didn't visit the city of Bath until I came and studied here but I wish I did because it would have just confirmed how much I love it really so, yeah. I was the same definitely. with because I'm from um, a big industrial city um, so when I did come and visit Bath, well, I didn't go to an open day, I just came and visited, visited with my nana. Um, so we walked around like the city, went to the campus. Um, but because it was so different from where I'm from, like I literally just fell in love with the city. And um, Bath is a world heritage city and the only other one in the world is Venice. So like you can imagine it's really, really pretty and beautiful. Is there anything unique? about Bath so maybe you visited a few other universities but actually there was something that Bath had that you didn't really find elsewhere? <laughs> Bath just, I, I don't know it just had a good feeling about it plus it was green and like it had a good balance of like all the buildings and everything in one place like there was a nice lake and loads of like cute little ducks and I don't mm -hmm. know it just seemed right like I can't explain. <laughs> Um, for my course specifically, like it has a really small course size. Obviously, this completely differs depending on the course, but I think it goes to show that like even if you pick a course, it can be like different at different unis. So like mm -hmm. for me, for work, it is you do have to learn a set thing at each uni, but at Bath, the numbers are capped at 40. So you know that when you go for placement, it's going to be like a really high quality placement. And I'd say that's another thing I've just reminded myself what is so unique about Bath is how much they encourage placements. It like pretty much everyone goes on a placement. It's like 70% of people I think go on placement um, and they're so supportive with that. Each department has their own placements office. Some unis have a placements office for the whole uni, whereas at Bath, every department has their own like specialized placements. There's even placements that are like sought out specifically for Bath. I know companies like Dyson and those of huge companies like they love people from Bath to do placements so yeah that's definitely cool. there you go <laughs> yeah I completely forgotten about placements but I, I know, placements I like, what, a really what, unique what, selling what, point what? <laughs> yeah because I think we're currently about the second largest provider of placements in the UK at the moment so really big on placements and yeah, I did my placement one was an agricultural union yes anyway. very vocational very hands-on yeah so um, yeah, I did my placement at Kew Gardens and there were eight internship students. Um, so sort of 
eight placement students essentially um three of them were from bath so that already made up the majority um and the other five were from five completely different universities and for most of them they were like the odd one out in their year i remember one girl from a particular university she had to create the course in order to go on a placement because they just didn't offer it at all so she had to spend a lot of time doing a lot of admin and behind the scenes stuff um with um the people on her course um, mm. just to actually be able to go on placement mm. whereas for us it was just so encouraged and so many people do it all the time that it's just a normal process and yeah. some people come not thinking of doing a placement and then they realize oh all my friends are doing one oh yeah. there's some really cool opportunities I'm gonna do one too yeah I'd say like other unis are now providing placements but they're like only just coming on to the idea and realizing how good it is whereas Bath is so established in placements that it is basically the norm to go on placement so, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, mine was definitely placement year as well, because before I went to university, I wasn't sure whether I actually did want to go to university because um, I wanted to go like straight into the workforce. Being able to have the work experience as well as the degree was definitely um, a big thing for me. The fact that the campus is um, like a small, compact campus, but it's also not really far away from the city centre. Some people are really scared like that Bath has like rubbish nightlife and they're like, <laughs> like no one yeah. says like I go to Bath because the nightlife is great like I've never heard anyone say that but like I think it's important to know that there are places and like nights out to go because it does have two universities so there are student nights out and I always say if you have the right people which Bath definitely has good people <laughs> then you can have a night out so yeah. Yeah, between us and Bath Spa, we actually make up about 25% of Bath's population. So they do have to cater for us. And a lot of people say, oh, well, I guess Bristol's not too far. I guess I'll go to Bristol a lot. But actually, when you're at Bath, you don't need to go to Bristol at all. There's actually so many clubs and you don't realise until you're actually a student because they're all tucked away because Bath is such a historic, pristine city that it's not advertised as like they, there are these bars and clubs downstairs. Um, but they're all yes they're all hidden like underground generally um so during the day the tourists don't get to see them but during the night all the students can come out and they know exactly where to go for a good night out going back to placement i know a lot of people who have been able to like get a job either in the company that they did their placement in or just find it a lot easier going into job applications because like they have the work experience but they just have the experience of interviewing and everything it's like going for a job so i think that's what stands out for me. I don't know what the official statistics are on like graduate employability at Bath, but I feel like it must be quite high because <laughs> of placements and because of like the skills that like you can do like CV workshops and everything. And, like mm -hmm. they they have a good career service. So. What's your favourite thing about Bath? I will say um, my favourite thing about Bath is probably the ducks, bit cliche, um, yeah. but I love the ducks so much that I actually ended up buying a bag of duck food so I could go down and see them quite often. I you were going to say that you bought a duck then. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I bought myself a pet duck. <laughs> no. um, unfortunately, we're not allowed pets here. <laughs> um, but it's quite nice, I guess, like having, because I'm quite a, an animal lover as well, so just having that animal interaction as well. But having duck food means that sometimes I can like take my friends down as well yeah. and people are like really shy and like timid around the ducks sometimes. And it's just like, oh, if you put some food in your hand, go down and feed them and they'll actually just take it out of your hand. Like they're really friendly, the ducks. Um, sometimes maybe a bit too friendly. Um, I know during the summer, some people like eating their sandwiches and if you like look away, a duck will grab your sandwich essentially. Um, so you do have to be a little bit careful about them, but for the most part, they are really nice. What's your favourite thing about Bath? Um, my favourite thing is definitely the campus because um, obviously there is a really lovely community feel and like when I first got here I feel like everyone's going to be nervous but because everyone's in the same place like it was just really welcoming and nice um, so mine's definitely the campus and like the yeah. community feel. It's like quite a natural introduction I yeah. suppose. Mm. I definitely say like both of those things and also like like you said, um, Bath is such a like nice city and it just is like really convenient, like everything is all in one place. And if you want bigger city vibes, then you can go to Bristol or go to like London and stuff. But I find that with Bath, there's like a little bit of like culture as well and history, which is quite nice, like the Roman baths um, and like the Putney Bridge and stuff like that. Like it's just really good scenic spots as well. I'd say like the support and that kind of goes in different ways, like 
like there's so much like well-being support and student support and at the moment with all the uncertainty surrounding like coronavirus there's been a lot of support and also like with things like placement and employability because a lot of people nowadays they're really worried like going to university is going to be worth it am i going to get a job and i think just like, supported and i kind of like i know what i'm going to out of my degree and i think just generally bath is really supportive of students and wants them to do well so yeah Today we talked about why Bath, talked about a few different things about Bath. A lot of us sort of mentioned the community and the campus feel at Bath and that we really like the size of Bath and that everyone's quite friendly and it does feel like there's a real big community at Bath. We also mentioned the city of Bath itself, which I think is quite an important thing because when you're looking at universities, you don't tend to think about the city itself, but actually you'll be spending a lot of time in the city but when you are visiting universities make sure you check out the local area as well because it is somewhere you'll be living for at least three years of your life if not longer. We also mentioned placements which is probably Bath's biggest unique selling point because we provide so many students with placements every year and it's actually the norm to do at Bath. That sort of wraps up our Why Bath session. Thanks again for listening and we hope to see you again on another Teams Bath conversation.